Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Belt. My name is Kelly. Today we're going to go over exactly how much I have spent on my Tacoma to get it to the badass overland rig you see right behind me. Stay tuned. Now before we get started, I'll wait a second for you to just guess. Guess how much the grand total is gonna be that I spent on my Tacoma and put it in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys think I spent before we get into the whole list because I have like two pages of notes here and we're gonna go everything item by item. And we're starting inside. Starting with the Expedition Essentials 3T PAM. And this is by far the most utilized, most functional piece of kit that I utilize on a daily basis in my truck. The 3T PAM by itself is $230 and all the RAM mount bits and holders are another $150. Also inside the truck, we have the Desert Does It Seat Jacker and Multi Mount Panel, which was $260. No one likes chrome in their truck, including me. So I went with the Miso Customs Chrome Delete Kit on the interior, as well as the Turn Signal Chrome Delete on that, which are replacement lights, which totaled $275. Of course, you have to have a way to control all your accessory lights. I went with the low budget VoSwitch UV100, which I have been super impressed with. Not a single issue ever at all. And last but not least, inside the truck, the Teton Workshop Shift Knob in gray and that was hundred and ten dollars and is way better feeling than the stock shift knob starting from the front and working our way back we've got a lot going on here in the front and obviously the very first thing you're going to see is this big awesome c4 fab hybrid bumper with the top hoop and the bumper was one thousand three hundred seventy five dollars plus two hundred dollars powder coat Hidden inside the C4 Fab bumper is going to be the hidden gem of my recoveries. And that's gonna be the Ironman 4x4 synthetic line 9,500 pound monster winch. And that retails for $700. Also inside the C4 Fab bumper, along with on top of the Prince rack and on the Athfab rear bumper is going to be an accoutrement of diode dynamic lights. Now there are a bunch of different lights. There's light pods, light bars. I've got a lot of lighting on this truck, all from diode dynamics at a total price of $1,780. Now for suspension, I've had a couple kits. What I'm running now is the Ironman 4x4 Nitro Stage 2 kit. And I upgraded all of the shocks to the Foam Cell Pros. Now this suspension system with the Foam Cell Pros has been flawless. It's great on road trips. It's great in the outback. It really works super, super well. I haven't had a single issue with this suspension kit ever since I put it on. Now I wouldn't suggest doing it this way, but this is what I did. I initially purchased the $2,100 nitrogen uh, stage two kit, and then I upgraded all the shocks to the foam cell pros for an additional cost of $820. For wheels, I went with the Method 701 Trail Series in black with a zero offset. And I've got five because I have a full size spare. And all those wheels, $1,350. For tires, I'm running the BFG KM3s, 35 by 12 and a half by 17. And we got five of them. And the grand total is $1,885. And these tires have been awesome. Next up by far was the cheapest item to purchase, but by far the most expensive with my time, which is gonna be the Running for Tacos Cab Mount Relocate Kit. Um, the kit itself only cost 140 bucks, but I swear I've got about 12 hours, 14 hours of labor into this thing, getting the factory uh, cab mounts cut off and these welded on and painted and everything. Um, that was quite a process, but well worth it. This is the very first piece of armor I have and by far the best investment you could possibly get in saving your truck. These are the white knuckle off-road rock sliders for the Tacoma. I got the kick out, I got the top plate, and I got the DOM. Um, these are just awesome. These have taken so many hits and they have just kept on rocking. They never move, they never budge. These are flawless for a total price of $1,075, 100% worth it. At the rear of the truck, this awesomeness right behind me is going to be the at home fabrication, high clearance rear bumper and swing away tire carrier with jerry can and my full size spare, which is a 35 inch tire, which is a lot of weight. Now I have been super happy with this high clearance rear bumper and tire carrier. The package works flawless and I've got a bunch of weight on here, as you can see. The at the helm fabrication, high clearance rear bumper and swing away tire carrier was $1,850. 
plus $300 for powder coat and another $200 for the jerry can holder. Also underneath the truck are the really cool, very versatile rock lights from Lux Lighting System. Those are $210. Next up is the RLD Designs stainless steel canopy. And this thing has been amazing. I don't even know what I did before I had the side doors. They are so functional. And the RLD, the way I optioned it was $4,100. And one of my very favorite upgrades that I did to the back of the truck here is going to be the snail armor flat tailgate panel. This thing is awesome. I can sit on my tailgate. I can utilize my tailgate and nothing falls into the little cracks. This thing is such a needed upgrade. Everyone should have it. And the snail armor flat tailgate panel is $215. This is the mod that started the whole thing. This was the very first piece of Overland kit that I got, and it's this right here. This is gonna be the Yakima Skyrise HD Medium, and this has been a great tent. I've owned it for over three years now. I have spent probably 50-ish nights in it between all of our adventures, probably more than that, but I'm being generous with that number. But it's a great tent. I have zero issues with it. The only thing I wish it had was a little bit thicker sleeping pad. Other than that, it's been flawless. It's definitely an old school tent with the, with the cover on it. It just takes a little bit of time to set up, but it still works great. I have no complaints. And that was $2,300. And the Yakima tent is attached to the RLD Designs canopy using Yakima factory aero bars. And those were $680. It's a very, very easy, low profile way for me to mount my tent onto the canopy. Next up, my Slim Shady awning from Yakima. And this thing gets used a lot. Being a desert dweller, you need shade and this provides quite a bit of it. It's a really good, durable awning. I have a couple pinholes here and there from just rubbing in the case, but it's been a really, really good investment for the price. And that was $350. And here we have the Prince Rack, which I actually won at Overland Expo a few years ago. That was actually a complete, just a random drawing. Uh, I won it, so that was $0. But then also right here is going to be the Overland Pros Privy Shower. Now that um, I purchased for my wife. I literally only use it when my wife comes with me on trips, but that was $280. Right here, we have the Apache rifle case that I got from Harbor Freight. That was 160 bucks, and all it does is store my dirty recovery gear. Um, it was actually a very good investment. It's been pretty solid. It has never leaked. I'm actually pretty impressed with this case for what the price is. And almost last but not least is gonna be my gear swap. I went with the Revolution Gears 529s. I had that done at a shop, and even with the install price, that was $2,100. All right, guys, that's pretty much everything on the truck that is bolted to the truck, not including recovery gear and other accessories of that sort. All right, so what did you guys guess for the grand total of how much I spent on my Overland rig to get it to where it's at right now? Well, time to find out. The grand total is $25,455 that I have invested into my truck to go overlanding. And that doesn't even include the price of the truck which is right around $50,000. So you're looking at $75,000 into this truck right behind me. Now I fully realize that is a lot of money to spend on a truck, $75,000 to go over landing is a lot of money. And by all means, you don't have to spend that much money to get out there and see amazing things that you would never see anywhere else. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. I hope the numbers weren't too shocking. Remember, if you liked it, hit that thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, follow us on IG, and I'll see you guys next time.